All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick tour because it's not a big unit at all of my next project. I'm John Lewis. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my next project. It's a, a short term rental slash mid term rental. I want you guys to follow along as I show you my plans for the renovation of this unit. This is a property um, that I purchased as a house hack. So we actually live upstairs and, um, and my long-term tenant moved out she got her own home i'm so happy for her uh, she was a great tenant by the way but i'm deciding to switch it up for my next use for this space and i'm converting from long-term rental to short-term rental during short-term peaks slash mid-term rental when it slows down during short term i'm going to convert it over to a mid-term don't forget i said this is a house hack so you may hear my children upstairs so you can come on in i want to walk you through my plans for this unit Go ahead, go ahead and check out the living room. You can do, do a quick pan of the living room. So until I start renovating, it has turned into a little storage for the family. We're a very active family. Got the bikes here, um, but never mind that. This is the living room. So right now my plans for the living room, of course, is gonna be, um, we got maybe three or four different floors throughout this home which I hate. I like to have all uniform flooring throughout the property or else uniform throughout the main areas in the bedrooms and then maybe the kitchen and bath may have some type of tile. So in here, we're gonna have vinyl plank flooring. Um, we're gonna go with the new paint job, new um, double hung vinyl windows. We're gonna get rid of these old wooden windows and we don't have any power in here. So I'm going to run some electrical, probably pull from my switch here, or it's whatever my electrician recommends. And we're going to most likely throw some type of ceiling fan up here in the living room and maybe a few recessed lights. So I am looking to also um, win back a strong appraisal with this renovation as well. So I'll add in a few bells and whistles as I renovate the property. Um, I'm looking to spend about $26,000. We're gonna bring in a private money lender for, for this property. And it may be something where we just give them 10%, um, eight to 10% back on their money, or else we may go 50-50 um, as I hold this asset and we utilize it in the short-term rental, mid-term rental space. Next up is the dining room. So in here, it's gonna be very simple. We're gonna get rid of this popcorn ceiling. I'm gonna demo out these old shelves. I'm gonna demo out this old, little sitting, sitting area there and most likely just go with some um, most likely just go with a few floating shelves there we'll also have the new flooring in here new paint job this is the dining room area so we'll probably have some type of feature light feature uh, chandelier here most likely our computer desk will be here thinking about making this a feature wall just with some different color i'm going white throughout the unit so this may be a a uh, black or a very, very, very dark or, or navy blue. And let's go back and uh, check out the rooms. Let's, let's do the bathroom first. Go, go ahead and get a quick, quick peek in there in the restroom, maybe pan around so they can see the entire restroom. So we pulled everything out. So everything is going to be new going back into this restroom. The last thing that will come out is going to be that window again we're pulling out all of those old wood windows and we're going to go with new double hung vinyl windows and now i'm torn let me go ahead and step in here i know i may lose some of my lighting but i'm torn because we have some cast iron plumbing here that's not doing anything to anyone it's not hurting anyone but i'm really thinking of tearing it out while i have the wall open um, a few months ago, I tore out over 40 feet of bad cast iron underneath my home. And it, it was getting bad. You could even smell it. So that cast iron is the same age as this cast iron. So I'm thinking of pulling this out and just going in with new plastic while my wall is open. Let me know in the comments what you would do. If you gutted out your bathroom, you pulled out everything, but you still had some cast iron pipes behind the wall, would you go ahead and change them over to PVC? Or would you keep them, um, keep them in place until you actually have to change them? I'm going back with drywall as a opposed to the hard plaster. So it would be easier for me to cut out drywall and get to these pipes if needed. However, there's no more, um, 
there's no more of a convenient access than what I have right now. And that's the wall being completely out, toilet completely out, vanity completely out, the, tu um, the tub is completely out. So my plumbers have nothing but room in order to operate and, uh, and pull out this old cast iron. So we'll have new flooring, we'll have a new modern tub. We're gonna go subway tile from the tub up to the ceiling. Um, we'll have new plumbing fixtures, new vanity, mirror, new um, vanity light and a new toilet here and a towel bar set a new uh, i'm going with either two panel doors or six panel doors and and that, that'll be a wrap for the bathroom we should be in and out and uh let's go over to the bedroom so the bedrooms we have um uh, it's this unit is a two bedroom one bath so this room if we can get a king size bed in here we will Otherwise, we'll have a queen. I'm unsure if I will go one queen, one queen, or as if I'm going to go one queen and maybe two fulls or two, um, two twin size beds. I have to look more into some of the um, analysis with Airbnb and short term rentals for what's more in demand in terms of, um, in terms of sleeping guests. So I'm really leaning, leaning toward two beds because most people coming in, they will also have their family with them. But in here, it's gonna be very simple as well. We're gonna get rid of this popcorn ceiling. Most likely just go with um, either a fan or some flush mount lighting, new paint job. Um, we got a receptacle on every wall. I don't see a receptacle here. So we may go with some surface mounted receptacles um, over here as well, just so that it can be plenty of outlets and convenience so now i have to not only think like a long-term landlord which is the space that i'm coming from but i have to think more short term more hospitality i am catering to a different type of tenant or a different type of guest as opposed to a long-term tenant with the long-term tenant just as long as it passes occupancy i'll be good but more with short term you may have the husband over here on his laptop and you may have the wife over here on her laptop and our receptacles are one is over here and one is all the way over there so i really have to take that into consideration as i convert this to a short-term rental how can i best accommodate my guests um we're gonna pull out the wood windows in here and go with vinyl windows this is more on the rehab side i haven't really um talk much about the design this video will be more about the rehab and as i finish then you guys can help me design the place out but um but yeah so 26 for the rehab budget for my furnishings and design i'm looking at around eleven thousand, and then a three thousand dollar unforeseen budget just in case something happens it's always nice to have a little reserves there that you can tap into so we're looking to be 40k all in for this uh, property again um, i'm looking to partner with a private money lender for this particular project if not then i'll go and talk to the banks and uh, and see what products we have for some type of personal loan or else um, or it's taken out a second something like that on the property so um lastly is so that's the other bedroom the exact same story as that bedroom except for it, it may be um, either two beds or just one bed lastly is the kitchen Come on in. So in the kitchen, everything's gonna come out. Um, these old cabinets, this old stove. I'll probably throw this on Facebook Marketplace. You have a group of people that like the old antique type of um, appliances. So they may be able to have better use for it than I would. And besides me just giving it to a scrap guy that will go get a couple dollars off of it. But we're gonna pull out these um, old cabinets. They're mis mixed match. I think I have either two or three different types of, uh, two different types of cabinets here. I'm gonna pull out this countertop. This is, um, this can be of use, you know, for, for places that, that may do a lot of cooking or this is a great stainless steel table that, that someone can use. So I'll probably throw this on Facebook Marketplace as well, or if I know anyone with any, um, any restaurants or anything, I'll give them a call and let them know that I have a stainless steel table. The wall imperfections gotta go. The ceiling is very, um, it's very messy. So if there's a way where I can skim off this popcorn ceiling and skim coat the ceiling to where it's nice and smooth, I will. Or else I'm gonna bust out this plaster, pull it, get it ripped out, and go up with nice clean drywall. 
same for this, uh, same for this wall. I want to have it nice and smooth as, as my guests come in. This old paneling is going to come out. We'll most likely just go with the subway tile backsplash as well. We'll have our, um, we'll have a new stainless steel. I think I'm going electric. I don't want to have any gas or, or any fire going in this unit with just different people in every week. So most likely I'm going to go with an electric range. We'll, we'll go with the stainless steel microwave, either white or gray or maybe dark brown cabinets and uh, stainless steel fridge. You may keep it there near the door or else look into somewhere over here, possibly. Uh, I'll have to see where's the best placement for the refrigerator. I'm unsure. I kind of want to get it away from this door and keep this door area as open as possible. So I may, I don't know. I may look at somewhere over here for the refrigerator and, and get it off of that, uh, get it off of that door. But that's the story here. That's all, that's all she wrote for this unit. Um, again, I'm going to short-term rentals because I, you know, I long-term rentals are cool, but I don't really like the idea of always having to spend thousands of dollars after turnover. Um, also, COVID wasn't as nice to me with, with long-term rentals, so I'm pivoting. And this will be my first short-term rental slash mid-term rental. So we'll see how it is. I also like the idea of it being cleaned every week and pretty much I will have to keep my property in ready to sell condition at all times. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try. So I'm John, uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers. So your subscription means a lot with, uh, with helping me get to that goal. So I'll see you guys next week on the next video.